Hey everybody, it's time to taste test with Tony again. So today I'm going to be finishing up a box that I got sent from some fans in Kentucky. So once again, thanks to Darren and Tara, Lorelai, Sebastian and Xander. Today what we've got is some treats from Poland. And I'm also going to be trying some moonshine sweet tea, which I'm from the south. So sweet tea is very important to us. We take it seriously. So let's see how good this is. But to start, we're going to try this. It's from a company in Poland, and I have no idea, Elitis got me the name of the bar, but let's see what it is. Let's open it up. Sort of looks like one of the, like a sugar cookie wafer dipped in chocolate, maybe? has a it smells like a dark chocolate smell almost like at Easter when you get those chocolate covered marshmallow eggs that's sort of what it smells like here we go <laughs> that's good the dark chocolate you can really taste and it sort of has a almost like a vanilla taste inside hmm. way to go Poland I like this very good very light and airy inside the wafer is hmm. I like that so let's wash it down with some of our moonshine sweet tea and it's interesting because it says that uh, they help children's charities I'm all about helping with charities so if this is good then I'll be buying some more let's shake it up here we go moonshine sweet tea And there you go. <laughs> no more of that. That's not sweet tea. In the South, sweet tea is like a cup of sugar to an ounce of water. That's sweet tea. That. Hmm. I have to give me something else to wash stuff down with. All right, the next thing we're going to try pyramidal. I'm taking it that's supposed to be some kind of pyramid, maybe, because. As you can see here, it looks like a pyramid. Looks like another maybe chocolate wafer bar. Let's see. There's the pyramid. It smells a lot like this. Let's give it a taste. It's a little denser than the other one. It doesn't have that wafer taste to it. I'm not for sure what. It's not bad. If I hadn't had this first, this would be better. I really like this one. It's almost like a stale wafer bar. That's kind of what it tastes like. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I've got to get me something to drink besides the moonshine tea. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to get some of my favorite drink, ice. Love this stuff. Love, love, love it. Can't tell you how much I love that stuff. Okay, next up. We have this. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. It's, I'm not even going to pronounce it, but it looks like it's some kind of, 
maybe this time a vanilla wafer with chocolate on the inside. They like their wafers in Poland. Okay, let's see what we got. This looks like a vanilla wafer with chocolate on the inside. Here we go. That's better. I still like this the best. <laughs> but this is good. It's a lot lighter than that pyramid one. A lot tastier. There's a lot of chocolate inside of it. Great. You really get the chocolate taste. Which is interesting considering these two were more chocolate, but that one tastes more like chocolate. Hmm. All right. And if anybody's wondering what's on my shirt today, this is Chimp Haven. It's outside of Shreveport, Louisiana. It's a great rescue for chimps. Check their website out. Support them. All right, the last one we've got today. I'm thinking this might be, this is Cocosau. I'm wondering if it's coconut. For anybody that knows me, I love coconut flavor. I hate coconut. <laughs> it's, the texture is like eating hair or something. Ugh. Okay, let's see what we got here. Apparently, these are very popular. I was trying to look it up on the internet, and it was like they were everywhere. They even have their own Facebook page. So, it looks like a little chocolate ball. It smells like chocolate. Here we go. Hard. Hmm. It sort of has a it has a coconut flavor, which I like. It's almost like almost a to toasted coconut inside. Interesting, because I don't like that coconut texture, but this is not bad at all. Hmm. I actually like this. <laughs> I have to eat my words. These are good. Who would have thought? Hmm. If you like chocolate and you like coconut you'll love these. It's a very, like I said, it's hard. It's not a soft, gooey type thing. And the coconut inside, let's see if I can bite one in half. Huh. It's almost like a, it looks like a malted milk ball inside. But it's coconut. I'll probably eat the whole package of these. <laughs> If you see them, try them. Hmm. Made a liar out of me. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Tara, Darren, Sebastian, Lorelai, and Xander. I had a lot of fun with these. And I will be back next time with more taste testing with Tony. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.